Your platoon is what remains of recon. I'm folding you into the 22nd. You'll be going up that damned hill tonight. We're intelligence gathering, sir. I don't need intelligence, son. I need men who can hold rifles and kill Japs. Tonight, you're a rifle company. We've got cooks, mechanics, and stretcher bearers all going into the line. We aim to break them tonight, Lieutenant. Good to see you, Hank. You too, Cole. How's your war? Not quite what I expected. As long as I live, I will never get over that sound. Hey, who's that medic? He'll be killed going out there. It's Sheldon, the guy from the Altacala Bridge. That guy's got no fear. He didn't make it. I didn't go out there to save him. What are you saying, man? I went out there to put him out of his misery, to ease his pain. Do you have a problem with that? Murder, Corman. That's war, Lieutenant. Smell the stench. Feel the horse breath on your neck. You need help, man. Call for me tonight, Lieutenant. When you're up on that hill. I've been up there three times already. The circles of hell have nothing on Sugarloaf Hill. Get this madman out of my sight! Well, to be fair, he did put him out of his misery. I'd figure that's probably a better way to go than just fucking laying there and dying. But, you know. To set up American Legion Stadium. I think this is gonna be one of my favorite ones, also. This is a good one. You like the fight game, Phelps? Yeah. I did a little boxing in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. Because <laughs> you got your ass kicked a lot? <laughs> Mix your sandwich, buddy. Corn beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna and ham and cheese, 10. Damn. Damn, that's fucking a mug bullshit. <laughs> You'll like this fight, though. A plucky limey's about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You oh, is it sense? Sure about the result, I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. Let's get a ringside seat. Mm. All right, cool. All right, cool. Elena War boxing simulator. Woo. These guys' faces are kind of weird. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. What's going on? That son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. What? He just beat a guy up. It's a big deal. God damn you, Albert! You get out here right now! Albert Fish. Step back. Oh. LAPD. What's going on? That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? <laughs> we had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey Ooh. bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. You're out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple hundred other people. Stand aside. <laughs> Get the door open. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on him. So are we here because you lost money? Or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. <laughs> Look around and see what you can find. Uh, Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board. Second from the end. Second from the end. So not quite at the end. Okay. This one. Aha. I'm smart. All right, let's take a look at this shit. There's a phone number we can run by R&I. Plus a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. 
Harry, Mervyn, Ray. Hmm. Three, four, five. Duct tape. Or just tape. It's probably used to... Boxing stuff. Suspicious. This tape is pertaining to the case. Which means that this this case is definitely connected to that boxer because his his tape. I'm just gonna shut up. Okay. Um, Alienist Fontaine working selflessly to help the infirm. Did we read this already? This sounds seems sounds very familiar. All right. Well, enjoy the story. Can I help, Courtney? Is it money? No, no, doctor. That's okay. Do I have your professional confidence? Whatever you say will never leave this room. I talked some of the guys in my old unit into doing something, and it's gone wrong. I guess I did it for the wrong reason. For short-term gain. We came home from China. On the Cool Bridge. The morphine robbery. That was us. I thought I could get the guys a fair share. Some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. The deserving aren't always rewarded. Tell me about it, Doc. Uh, we shifted our stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. It wasn't meant to be like this. The presumption was rather naive, Courtney. I know that now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. Are they pressing you for further allocation? That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. I mean, I have a solution that will help you financially and salve your conscience. I'm all ears, Doctor. I will transact to take all the narcotics off your hands. You can rest assured that it will all be medically administered. I will use the funds that I no longer require for the purchase of medication and invest them in housing developments. Housing? The developments in question are housing projects for former servicemen. Your return will come from the sale of the properties. Your investment will benefit those that you care for most. Does this arrangement meet with your approval? You're a magician, Doctor. No, but something close to it. No, but something close to it, in case that wasn't heard. <laughs> mm. Alright, sorry, I was eating. Back to the game. Wait, is that it? Oh, wow. Let's just look around for fun. It's a window. It's open. Yep. Nice. Alright. <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, ooh, the showers. Ooh, okay, let's go in here. I like this one. I like this area. Hey, you want to come in with me? Okay, not that close. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Not that close. Maybe on Tuesday, not right now. You got a job to do, buddy. Let's get the fuck out of here. Apparently, I need to you go use the phone. Oh, shit. Bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mick, dear. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me. Oh. <laughs> Roy, I want to stop talking. Mickey, <coughs> seems that way. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. 
If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. <laughs> Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps? Me Aha! We I finally met we Cohen. I, uh, met his brother-in-law. Who was it? I don't remember. I don't remember. I think you had the mixture pretty scared back there. Really? Or he's just pissed off. Wow, he's already gone. Jeez, that was fast. Who is he? There's fucking witches in this game, I swear to god. Wiccans and fucking warlocks and all this shit. Oh, okay. Uh. Wow, everyone's gone. Jesus. Alright. Oh, hey. Hey, you're still working here. Hey, I want something. Donuts, three for five cents, or 15 cents for a dozen. Candy bars, three cents. Okay, candy bars. Give me two candy bars. Six cents. Give me two candy bars. I'm sorry. Oh, and I can trace that Ideas? phone number. Find no, that line I want to. Before he cut out. I want to buy candy bars. I'm not stumped. Oh my god, you idiots! All right, let's use this phone. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, bad twelve forty-seven. F -f -f Phelps. F -f Phelps. I need an address for the following phone number. AL345. Make it fast. Phone number is... Right now, Hotel woman. Elmar, okay. 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. Thank you. Okay, that, that, you know that, was, that was pretty fast. That was good. Thank you. Quarter a night, no questions asked. Get the hell over there. You seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Do I note a hint of reprimand in your tone, Detective? Talking to gangsters comes with a turf. Of you Hollywood. should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdash up on Sunset. Wow. See if I don't know what that means. <laughs> old man's clothes that you slink around in. It's a front for his illegal activities. To get my clothes, I never really looked at this, but... Why don't we do it now? Not log. Statistics? Nope. There's a stupid shit. Uh. Oh, display. Nope. What? Gameplay? Uh. Where's the option to change your clothes? Okay, it's not that. What? Ah. Uh, <sighs> clue hints. Uh. Oh. Hmm. I wonder if I should turn clue hints off. Eh. Nah. Uh, gunfights. Oh. Controls. Wow, okay, uh, there's... It's like nowhere. I can't change my... Why don't we try doing black and white? <laughs> Maybe later. It might be kind of fun. I might do an episode or two like that at least. Alright. It is that. But he does carry some very sharp suits. If it's okay with you, I'll stick with Brooks Brothers. Alright. I guess he's okay with that. I don't know how to change my clothes. Apparently, I can't now. <laughs> Whatever. Hotel El Mar, 9.14 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. L.A. Noir. It's kind of reminds me of, like the first mission. Hey, what are you selling there? Los Angeles Mirror. Oh, so you're basically... You're stealing newspapers and magazines and selling them. Oh yeah, you son of a bitch. Fucking damn it. You know what? No. No 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 no. Oh, your partner. You're gonna die! Did that really just happen? Oh. No, partner, wait. I have to kill this guy. Hold on. Partner. Ah! No, 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 no. 
You did not God damn it. Do that. What, he's not dead? Look, he's back in his post already, he's fine. You lost your hab, that's okay, you're an idiot. Here, let's go get your hat back, buddy. I'll make it up to you. Let's go get your hat back. Where is it? Oh, you stupid. You lost your hat. Ah, you're dumb. Stupid partner. Oh my god, idiot. Let's go. Are you sure yeah, what do you want? Now I'm not so sure. LAPD. We're making inquiries what? into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Oh. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. I will. I'll take a look at it right now. All right, well then, then go. I swear, this town is going straight to hell. Well, we can agree there, but probably for different reasons. Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. Hmm. Shirley Temple. You're a real asshole. Do you know that? Hey, shut up, you crazy fuck. Kick your ass, Bob Hope. <laughs> uh, Winston Churchill. Oh my. Huh. Wait. So repeats? They're asking for repeats. Hold on. Prominent Tommies. A lot of these names are like just fucking. Yeah, he was really right about that. Damn, Caulfield. Oh, <gasps> Joan Caulfield. Oh my god, it's Max's grandmother. I figured it out. This is Ellie Noir. truly is the prequel to Life is Strange. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, what's this one? Winston Churchill. A very patriotic Englishman is staying in room 207. I just want to see what happened. Old bulldog. Even at the flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. Yeah, I just want to see uh, what would happen if I press Marilyn Monroe or whatever. Like, I don't know how you're supposed to... I guess Winston Churchill is like one of the most noticeable names there, so... Oh, hey, what are you doing? Keep talking. Someday you'll say something intelligent. <laughs> Coming from you? Look at you. You look like that stupid salesman from the traffic case. Uh, Idiot. You have a problem? How? I might have a problem. Keep in mind. I'm a guy who's killed, like, dozens dangerous. of people so far. Yeah, I know, I've killed dozens of people already, and I'm a detective. What does that say about the city, huh? Huh? One of these days. Don't fuck with me. Do not fuck with me. <laughs> oh, I get the fuck in here. Oh, God. Okay. That's just a stupid boxing thing. Alright. Um, Western Union. Oh my. Are you liquored up? He must be heading home. You know, I hope he makes it. Hmm. That crooked son of a bitch. No chance. Home soon. Your boy done good. Elvira. Hold on. Elvira Hammond? Hmm. Home soon. Your boy done good. So he's in on this with someone named Elv. Vera. Hmm. Possibly his mother, he said. Special. Didn't see anyone in his corner in sight. Hmm. Or maybe. I guess a fighter has plenty of time on his hands between bouts. Hmm. <laughs> Do I see the movies? <laughs> uh. Instigate. Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. Hey, our partner's not gonna get that reference, buddy. Um. Oh, hello. Candy has expensive tastes. Albert has his work cut out for him. Who's Vancouver, candy? BC? Holy candy shit. Edwards, the lady who filled out this coupon. All right. Let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. Yeah, okay. Move him away, bitch. Door's unlocked. Wait. Is that it? Looks like he's had a broad up here. Looks like there's something else here. Since it didn't stop the investigation music yet, so hold on. Oh, okay. Looks like Albert has been doing some homework. 
11 grand would be a nice little nest egg. Hmm. Wow. He knows math. For a boxer, that's very surprising. Oh, shit. Alright, cool, we're done. Sweet. Alright, let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. So... So I guess... I used to be indecisive. Now I'm not so sure. What if Candy Edwards is, like, disguising... I don't need this! I swear, okay. this town is going straight to I'm just gonna ignore him. What if Candy Edwards is, like, disguising his mother named Elvira? <gasps> but what if it's the other way around? Oh my god. That's gonna explain those chocolates. Maybe it's a Freudian thing going on. Who knows? Never know. Hammond is over the hill. He's a punching bag for the up-and-comers. She should know his goddamn place. I think he knows. I think he worked out the place isn't L.A. He's hmm. punchy. His brain's going to mush. Winston Churchill? Give me a break. Churchill is a fighter, Roy. Hammond didn't just scribble down the first name he could think of. Yeah, Roy. Idiot. So you Get pwned. We all did. Standard training. I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only prize for taking a fall was a thousand push-ups. The only prize for taking a fall? Ah, I see. I see what you're saying, Cole. Okay, Cole. Yeah, yeah, Cole, whatever, Cole. Cole. Why don't you go mine some coal, Cole? Faggot. At Lev Motel. Leave Motel, 9.32 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Motel life. We need to know which All right. candies. The hell, is always some guy smoking here. There's always like some guy... Sounds like some guy on the chair of a newspaper and another guy like standing with his foot against the f fucking wall of his smoking like what the hell we're looking for candy edwards oh that'd be me oh, oh you take the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top wow You're really friends with the italian guy italian guy yeah sleazy type gave his name as carlo i didn't like the look of him but candy has some funny friends uh oh this candy broad must be oh the shit in town all these gentlemen callers that or there's some shit going on. What'd you say? Top to the left? Okay. Give it up, bitch. Sounds like we're missing he's all the fun. Get in there, you know where he's hiding. Now tell me where no. he is before I cut you. I told you I haven't seen him. Hold on, let's just take this one step at a time. Let's look inside here. Oh. Oh. It looks like it's getting a little little uh fishy okay it's going <laughs> perfect timing like oh. getting women whoa this isn't gonna okay. end well for i guess he does friend. oh shit ow what the hell aha yeah that's right i'm a marine bitch former marine or whatever the fuck out cold, but breathing. Give her a minute and take a look around. Alright, it's fine by me. Alright, so clearly he has a face. It is uh, somewhat of a darker complexion than, uh, you know, the average white guy. Because he's Hispanic. And yeah. Uh, okay. And he's got hands. Some slightly bloody from punching, which we saw, because we had a fist fight with him and he punched her out with one punch, and that's what happened. Uh, let's see. Carlo oh. here seems to have the same friends as Hammond. What are the odds on them all being bookmakers? Uh, low, very low. Cool. God, you're such an idiot. They don't all make books. Are you kidding me? Why would they be doing that? Master what kind of business is that? All the Italians carry them. A real man uses his fists or a gun. Really? Fists or a gun? <laughs> wow. Okay. 
I don't know what's like the correlation there and then the disconnect from a knife, but whatever. Ooh. What's this? Scania sails from New York. And comes here? I guess so. Single ticket. Or one way. I don't know. No, it's something else. There isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio. There isn't? So why are they going there? What? Oh, Take he's been her. Edwards. We have some questions for you to answer. Yeah, you just got up. You just if fucking. I haven't done anything wrong. Just woke up and getting knocked out here. Get on the chair. I find that pretty talk hard to us. To believe. Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. Okay. Why'd you look to the side when you said that? Are you, are you lying to me? You saying you haven't had worse? That was the worst you've probably had. Hmm. We're trying to track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. You're lying, Candy. You were in his hotel room. He came back after the fight, and you weren't there. What happened? You can't prove that I was in the room. Uh. Can I not now? Mm. Ooh. Right, this thing. So. I'm gonna say. How do you think we found you, Candy? You wrote your name and address on a coupon. Look, coupon. <laughs> coupon. We were all supposed to make a little money out of it. But Albert got too goddamn stubborn. Said his pride was all he had left. So I told him, shove it. Let's see his pride. Shove your pride. Night. So you walked out. Oh, damn. The fight. Yes, I did. What's the problem? I didn't take anything. <laughs> Why are you so suspicious saying that? Huh? Did the name Perry so Mervyn nervous. or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? Good, good point. I don't. How would you know? I don't. I don't know. I don't know how you would know. Tell me the truth. How the hell would I know? At least he didn't say prove it. <laughs> this is a little. That was a little bit more natural. He didn't just say prove it or how can you prove that? <laughs> like as if we're on some kind of game show. Like what the fuck? <laughs> uh, All right. Um. Hmm. Looks like I made a mistake. You have doubt. Oh. Give up these men, Miss Edwards, and we'll think about letting these charges against you slide. Really? What? Charges against me? All I did was try and look out for Albert. Now he skips out, and I have to take beatings for him as well. Oh shit. Let me read that again. Was it the bookmark maker's payout or something? The math he did? Would that somehow have pointed to it? I don't know how that necessarily has anything to do with her, but... I mean, hey, she was in that room. I guess it could work. God damn it, I don't know. Plans to leave town. You're leaving town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. <laughs> We know that's a lie. You're lying to me. Albert finally won a big fight. I say good luck to him. But you know where he is. Let me help him, Candy. Do all you cops run off at the mouth? Prove I know where he is. Oh, here we go again with the proof thing. Okay. Prove I know where he is. Uh. Well, that. That. Uh. I don't know. Um, to would this be? I don't. You're going straight home. 
Well, we don't know if you're from Akron, I guess. Uh... Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. Well, am I really going to do bad on this one? Prove I know where he is. Uh, uh for now. Why? Uh, God damn it. Oh. Wow. Okay, it's not lie. It actually helped me for once. That stupid intuition thing actually helped me for once. Uh Okay. So she's going straight home. That's bullshit. Okay. Albert is going home by boat as soon as he collects his winnings. I know you're going to meet him. Albert is going to collect nothing. He'll be lucky if he can get out of town in one piece. How will you fare any better? They already believe you're in on it. Hell, I know you're in on it. You can oh. what you want, Buster. I'll take my chance. Oh, with that Buster shit again. I to run and then I say adios to this dump. We're on the same Buster in these days. You want to press charges against our Carol? Just get him out of here. That's all I want. Get out, Carlo, you hump. And get rid of that <laughs> pig sticker. You ever put that thing on me? I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money too, tough guy. I'll handle this. Takes a gun and shoots us. <laughs> Good luck, Miss Edwards. I hope goes back to interrogating her. Thank you. It's very kind of you to say so. Bad no people problem. are looking oh. to hurt Candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train station. I smell a payoff. I say stake her out. Do you really smell goes. it? I don't smell anything. I just smell the night air. 